a super cute dress today, but it doesn't have any pockets. So where am I supposed to put my phone? I can just wear it. <laughs> and I've gotten to play with this new tablet. I've been looking at pictures of adorable kitties, but if I need to, I can fold it up and take super serious business calls. Or I can just open it back up and look at pictures of kitties again. What's up guys, Sal here. So there have been a lot of rumors about a folding Samsung phone known as the Galaxy X over the years. And Samsung also showcased this technology at CES back in 2014. But now we've got an idea of how the interface on this bendable phone might work. A recent patent application from Samsung might possibly offer us our first look at the interface. The patent includes screenshots of a dual screen interface possibly taken from a prototype of the Galaxy X. The patent gives us an idea of what using a device with two separate displays might feel like visually. So it can be used in both portrait and landscape modes for different usage scenarios. The screenshot shows that it's possible to have apps and even a recent apps menu on each display. Samsung has also thought of some interesting uses for the second screen when the phone is folded. For example, the phone could show the cover of the book that you're reading to get an experience similar to the real books, where everyone around you knows you're reading a clockwork orange because they can see the book cover. Other examples show a game on the front and the touchscreen controls for it on the rear. By the way, the recently launched ZTE Axon then either have the two screens side by side for a larger display or fold it over so one screen is on the front of the phone and the other is on the back. Some images also show the handset being folded in such a way that it can stand itself up. However, it's worth noting that the patent was filed in early 2016. That's why the interface is similar to the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S7. So it's a bit dated and if this device is released next year, I can assure you that the user interface will be more in line with the one we find on the Galaxy S8 and the Note 8. That said, even though the concept here looks simple, it won't look dated when it's released as a finish. It will really look like a square shaped tablet that perfectly folds in half to have the aspect ratio of a phone like the Galaxy S8, similar to this prototype that Lenovo showcased a few years ago. But one thing's sure though, Samsung is not going to create a flimsy phone with compromises like ZTE did because they're a huge company and their goal is to make this phone a commercial product and to create a new category of smartphones just like they created the phablet category with the Note series. Anyways, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.